Tonight, shocking new surveillance footage showing the moment a Bronx apartment building partially collapses. Another angle showing people run for safety as debris and dust cascades onto the ground below. I heard like a big boom. One neighbor, Shakira Almonte, recalling the horrifying moment she witnessed through her apartment window. When I look outside, I just see people running. Canines called in to search the rubble for anyone who may have been trapped. But the FDNY saying miraculously no one was severely injured and that as of last night it had gone through a large pile of debris up to 12 feet high in spots and had found no victims. Now investigators are focused on how this happened and if there were missed warning signs. Department of Building documents obtained by NBC News shows the building had open violations. A summons issued by city inspectors just last month raising concerns about what they called deteriorated and broken mud sills, the platforms that sit under scaffolding columns and distribute weight. The inspector writing that there was, quote, one vertical member with missing mud sill, which can compromise the structural stability, causing a potential collapse. It is not clear if the inspector was talking about a potential collapse of the scaffolding or the building itself. In a press conference, Department of Building officials saying there were also facade issues flagged in a report submitted by the building's owner in March of 2021. That report did find unsafe facade conditions, seven of them. Uh, mortar that was deteriorating, cracked bricks. The commissioner saying investigators will look more into the cause once the site is cleared for safety by first responders. But tonight, residents are still reeling from the shock. Ground was shaking. It was just like it was an earthquake. Angel Soto inside with his mother as part of that building started to come down. We opened the door and the super's like, no, the building's collapsed. You got to get out. The New York City Emergency Management Department telling NBC News they are helping more than 100 displaced residents. It's devastating. Uh, I feel for the family. Prayers out to them and hopefully there's, you know, issues that, I mean, the, the issues are resolved and hopefully our city does a good job of making sure that everything goes well with them. Dozens of families left without a home over the holidays. Valerie Castro joins us from the scene tonight. Valerie, I kind of want to go back to that video that captured the moments the collapse happened. Do we know how much time people had essentially to get out of the way before that side of the building came, to, came crashing down? Yeah, well, Tom, if you take a look at the video, it looks like people just had seconds to get out of the way. The bottom level of this building has several businesses, including a convenience store. People there tell NBC New York that they actually heard a loud noise right before the building collapsed. A pipe burst, and then they saw some water trickling out. That was their indication that something was wrong, and they say that is when they ran outside with just seconds to spare. Tom? And then do we know what the next steps are here for the city and, and for whomever owned that building? Right, so the Department of Buildings has been here throughout the day with a team of forensic engineers. They say they are here to monitor what will be the emergency demolition of that corner of the building that collapsed. They spent the day putting up a sort of plywood structure or plywood wall around the intersection so they can safely do that. But of course, their investigation into why and how this all happened is still continuing. Tom. Valerie Castro for us from the Bronx tonight. Valerie, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.